Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to give you a full list of tips, tricks, and a tutorial for the amazing edge panels on your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. The edge panels are a bunch of side screens that you can access and customize to maximize your Note 9 ownership. The level of options and customization here is incredible, and I want you guys to master it all. So let's dive in and discover. Also, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech. And also, if you're a Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook user, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. All right, so the very first thing I want you guys to do is to make sure that the edge panels are in fact enabled so you can follow this tutorial. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the settings, uh, you wanna to go to the display, scroll down till you see the edge screen, you tap on it and make sure that the edge panels are in fact enabled. And of course, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and talk about the edge lighting as well. Uh, but first, let me cover the edge panels, then I'm gonna come back to edge lighting. So once you enable the edge panels, they should be sitting on a side screen somewhere around the edges of your device. Uh, it could be on the left or the right. Uh, in my case, it is on the right, and I can pull it right in, and that's known as an edge panel. And as you can see, this is the calculator panel. And then I can have even more edge panels. I've got some. Here's the app shortcut panel. Uh, here is the smart select panel. And here's the device maintenance panel. And of course, we have a bunch of weather panels and quick tools uh, such as a, a compass or things like this. You got a tally counter, you got a flashlight, uh, you've got a surface level, level meter, and you have the ruler. Okay. So what I'm going to show you guys is how to fully customize the edge panels. Uh, there's two ways to go into the settings. The first way I showed you guys, tap on settings, uh, go to display, uh, go into the edge screen, and then tap on the edge panels, and that's gonna allow you to add or remove an edge panel from your edge screen over here. Now, as you can see right now, I have the calculator panel, the apps edge panel, uh, the smart select panel, the device maintenance, weather, and quick tools. So I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six panels. And just so you know, you can have up to uh, nine maximum panels over here. Okay, so you, so you cannot have more than nine panels uh, sitting over here. So that's the maximum nine. And basically what you wanna do, you can also go to the settings right from here. So when you pull the edge panels in, you can tap on settings, goes into the same settings we just came. And if you want to remove a panel, you simply uh, uncheck the panel that you do not need. All right, so that's one way to customize. You can add or remove panels from your edge screen. Now, the other important thing is, uh, maybe you don't like the order here, so you wanna actually rearrange your panels. You can actually do that. What you wanna do is tap on this button here, tap on reorder, and that's gonna bring all the active panels in front of you. And all you do is, for example, if you want the weather panel to be at the first position, you just move this and drag and drop it and put it in the first position. Now, when I go back out and pull this in, you'll see that the weather panel is now in the first position. So that's how you reorder, remove, and add panels. And one more thing you can do is, as you can see, there's a bunch of panels here for you guys to use. There's actually an edge panel store that you can go into and download even more panels uh, and add more customization to your edge screen. So what you wanna do is you wanna tap on this button here, and what you can do is you can go to the download option, and then you have the option to download all these fancy, fantastic panels right over here. And as you can see, there are so many of these and they keep getting added uh, all the time. So you have so many options to customize. Now uh, you can have some paid panels and you can have some free panels and you can have some new panels. Now let me go to the free panels and let me just say I wanna download the to-do list panel. I tap on it, uh, I tap on install, after the installation is complete, I go right back. And now when I go back into my edge screen customization panel uh, from here, let's go to the settings. You'll see that the newly downloaded panel is right here and you can add this to your edge panel as well. So go get more if you need to do so. I also wanna show you something really quick. This is a really nice feature. Uh, if, you pulled in the, uh, if you pull in the edge panels over here, uh, this is the first view. So this is the side-by-side -side panel view you have to swipe over to go to the next panel. If you want a quick access to a panel and don't want to swipe all the way to the end to find that panel, 
uh, you can just uh, press this button here, these three lines, and that's going to give you a preview of all your edge panels. And from here, you can access the one that you want immediately. So if you want the weather, boom, you got the weather. Uh, if you want to do a quick calculation, boom, you've got a calculator. All right. So that's how you switch easily between panels. Uh, let me go back to the settings. I'm going to show you one more thing. Now, as you know, my current edge panel handle is right here. That allows me to pull in the actual panels. So this thing is called the edge handle. What you want to do is you want to tap on this button here and tap on edge panel handle. And that allows you to actually move this panel up and down or left and right. So I can have it on this side or I can have it on this side. And also I can change the size of it. I can make it even bigger and I can also make it uh, invisible or fully visible. So low transparency and high transparency. You don't even see it uh, if you don't want it taking uh, your screen real estate. It's still going to work even when it is invisible. Uh, but if you do want to see it a little bit, you can go like this, uh, middle or maximum. OK, so again, you can move this anywhere that you want. I think it's convenient for me to have it on this side. Uh, I don't like it too big, so I'm going to keep it a little bit smaller. And then you also have this option. This option says move from any screen. So that means you can touch and hold this panel and move it anywhere you want from any screen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, just for demonstration, let me put this on this side. Let's go back out. And now the panel is here and I can pull it right in. And move from any screen means I can press and hold and now I can move this guy. The only thing I cannot do is I cannot resize, but I could go like this and boom, it's on this side now. OK, so that's fantastic. Uh, one more thing I'm going to show you guys is if you do have a panel here that you do not need, uh, you could uninstall them. So tap this, tap on uninstall and choose the ones that you want to remove. Uh, some of these guys come with a system so you cannot remove them. But the ones that you download from the store can be uninstalled as you please if it's taking too much space. All right. So make sure you go to the store and look at all the other available options. There's really some really uh, neat panels here. Uh, for example, in my case, I've got the calculator panel downloaded uh, for quick calculations. Uh, the other thing that I like over here uh, is this one, the smart select option that allows you to actually take screenshots in any way that you please. So if I tap this guy, I can take a screenshot of the screen uh, in any app, anywhere, website, you know, whatever you want to do. And you can take a screenshot, you can click done and you can share that with your friends or you can actually um, draw on it or you can actually crop it. OK, so panels like these are pretty cool. Uh, other panels that you have, you have a couple games you can download, uh, quick games to kill time. But one of my favorite panels is this one. If you go to download, it's something that I'd recommend that you download uh, just in case. Uh, it should be somewhere over here. OK, it's called the soft key edge panel. Let's download that really quick. I'm going to show you exactly what it does. It gives you software buttons uh, replacing your hardware buttons. OK, and also it allows you to uh, replicate these buttons over here. So it's been installed. Let's go back. Uh, let's uh, activate that really quick. Go edge panels activation. Go back out, pull this in and let me just go to that panel. Boom, it's right here. So from here, I can go to the home. OK, uh, what else I can do is I can go back. I can do a screen capture that takes a screenshot. And of course, what I can do is I can uh, launch the recent apps button. And finally, I can lock the phone. Boom, the phone is locked. OK, so you don't have to press the button. You can just tap on lock and the phone gets locked. So that's one edge panel that I do recommend that you guys download. Now, let's move on. Uh, we, we already mastered the panels here. You know how to add, remove, uninstall, install, uh, quick view, and all that good stuff. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings. But instead of going to the edge panel settings, I want you guys to go into the edge screen settings. And you remember how we got here. And let's look at the edge lighting option, which is pretty fantastic. So let's go inside. You can turn off the option here. But if you turn, uh, press on the left side, it goes into the detailed settings. So edge lighting is actually uh, an effect that you get when you get a notification from a given app. So let me show you what that looks like. First and foremost, you have to pick the effect. Uh, do you want to see edge lighting, uh, edge lighting when the screen is on, off or always? I keep it at always. And then here's the lighting style effect. And of course, here's the apps that you can use with the edge lighting. 
And of course, you can use any app that you want. Right now, Messages, WhatsApp is enabled. I can enable this for any app that I want, Best Buy. You don't need it for calculator, uh, calendar, whatever. So here's what happens. When somebody sends you a message, you get a nice lighting effect around the edges of the screen. The uh, good thing is you can customize the intensity and the color of the effect and even the style of the effect. So pick the effect. You can do the multicolor effect. You can do the glow effect. Okay, and let me uh, change the color a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Let's do red so it's more pronounced. And let's also change the transparency of the effect. So you want the high or low. So high means you, don't, you barely see it. Low means you see the whole thing. And of course, you can change the size of it so I can do it wide. Okay, now if I click apply and I go back in here, you can see that it's a wide glow effect. So if somebody sends you a text message, or if somebody sends you, a, or if you get a calendar update, you'll see this nice effect. And you can change the color as preset colors over here, or pick any color that you want, could be green, okay? Uh, you can change the effect, you can do the glitter effect, you can do the glow effect, you can do the multicolor effect, and you can do the basic effect. And like I said, uh, let's go back, it will apply to only the apps that you pick and choose over here, or you can just go nuts and say all available apps, and then you'll get lighting notifications, the edge lighting notifications for any app that you desire. Alrighty, so those are the edge functions on your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And that brings us to the end of this video, and I hope you learned a few new things. Now make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.